This is the story of Mercury's iconic XM Turnpike Cruiser, a one-of-a-kind concept car designed in Detroit, bodied by Ghia of Italy. Here it is in its special showcase, the Vanarama. For one year, the XM Cruiser, encapsulated in this glorious showcase, toured the country, east, west, north, and south, the Vanarama even converted into its own showroom, where people came from all over. It toured the big car shows, New York, Chicago, Detroit. Surprisingly, very little photos or footage exist of this car on display in 1956. It had many exciting features. People were astounded by the glory of it all. However, after one year, this car was left to decay and rot and ruin. And for 60 years, it remained deteriorated, mostly thought beyond repair. Yeah, look at it. Very rough. Very, very deteriorated. But restorable, according to one man. Here he is, Tom Maruska of Minnesota. Hi, I'm Charles Phoenix. Welcome to a very special episode of Joyride. I traveled all the way from Los Angeles to Duluth, Minnesota to be among the very first people who got to lay their eyes on this freshly restored, one-of-a-kind show car of the future from the past and share it with you. No, you are not dreaming and neither was I, even though I thought I was. This really is from the ashes. Yeah, a big pile of rusty, dusty, crusty metal came this. Perfectly restored, gorgeous, spellbinding, hypnotizing, and mesmerizing masterpiece of the mid-century. Oh, yeah. Look at every divine detail of this space age spellbinder of the absolute highest order. And we have restoration artist extraordinaire Tom Maruska to thank for restoring this world-class national treasure. Hero, superhero, right here. Um, you're a master of your craft, Tom. Thank you. Where do we begin to behold the glory of the miracle that is this? The exquisite restoration of this one-of-a-kind space age supreme show car extraordinaire of the absolute highest order ever in the history of the known universe yeah you heard me that's right this is the greatest space age show car ever created and it truly is a miracle yeah look at those tail lights up there i know it true oh yeah little Right in for the close-up. Oh, and that rear window. Wrap around. How about this interior? Yeah, I was saying it's a true miracle beyond. It really is. We did not expect this, but we got this. And how lucky are we to once again be able to look up close and see the extreme, extraordinary, true glory of this mid-century modern masterpiece. Look at that creamsicle color story. That sweeping side spear shows us how it's done. Oh, those two pods there in the instrument cluster. And look at the front end of this car. Hello. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There it says it right there as a general reminder. XM Turnpike Cruiser. Look at those spinner wheel covers. And those little whoosh marks right there. How about, oh yeah, that front fender. Those rings around the headlights. 
that divided grill. Oh, and these bumper ends. Uh-huh. Hello. You'll light the way. That gorgeous hood ornament, unlike any other hood ornament ever. Look at the inside of that car. Inviting you in for the ride of your life. It says at Mercury. That's what you're riding in. That's the direction you're headed in here. Oh, yeah. Take it all in. Bask in the glory of the glow of this absolutely otherworldly, exquisite creation. True is the miracle that it is. It's hard to believe that this car, looking at it now, was a rusted-out hulk, deteriorating for more than 60 years before it was restored. That interior bucket seats, the console goes all the way through. And yeah, the T-tops. I know, T-tops. All the way back in 1956. Love that detail right there. And oh yeah, a little see-through action for you. Because I know you want to see it all. Look at that. There's a beautiful view of that steering wheel, the instrument cluster, the gear shift lever. Oh, that clock. And it says it for you. M-E-R-C-U-R-Y, Mercury. Look at that little console there. Oh, but we're talking about the sweeping side spear. Yes, the jet flow styling. This car was such an influence to the cars that came after it from the Ford Motor Company. No other manufacturer ever made anything that looked like this. Look at that big old piece of pie tail light. You do want to call it a piece of pizza. That gorgeous rear end, that thin bumper. This car is not meant to be bumped. And if we talked about, yeah, I know, look at the pattern in that lens. And oh yeah, uh-huh, oh yeah. Dual exhaust on both sides. How about the color? How about the metallic? This is like a creamsicle frost. Whoa, this view. This will take you to the stratosphere of the supreme outer limits of every bit of space age styling that has ever occurred in the history of the known universe. I know, I know, I know. There it is, the T-top, all ready for its close-up. Oh, I know, and that interior, I can never get enough of it, that door panel. And of course, power windows. So what engine does it have? It's a 292. A 292. They said it was a 312, but actually when this thing was built, they didn't have a 312 yet, but it was coming. So they said it, it would have one if built. What would you like people to know about this car, Tom? Well, it's a 1956 Mercury XM Turnpike Cruiser dream car, show car, concept car. It was built by Ghia in Italy in 1955 for Mercury. And Mercury designers sent a 3 8 inch scale plaster model over to Italy and said build this car. They also shipped the chassis and the running gear and body hardware to Italy. And Ghia used all that stuff to incorporate it into the car when they built it. The, truck, the car is actually built on a 1954 F-250 truck chassis. There's 10 leafs in the back springs and the Ford design, designers evidently anticipated that the car was gonna be very heavy. Tell us about a little bit about the restoration process. The car was extremely rusty when I purchased it in the summer of 2017 from Ray Kosh out in Ojai, California. <clears throat> and I brought it back here in uh, December of 18. I started the restoration on it. And the entire floor and a lot of the frame had dissolved over the years. Um, 
portions of the outer body were rusted away. So there was a lot of fabrication in all. I put 13 four by eight sheets of 18 gauge sheet metal into the car, reconstructing everything. The hood and the trunk lid, I fabricated entirely from uh, pictures. I had, fortunately, I had a lot of uh, original eight by 10 black and white glossy pictures that I got from Ray Kosh and they helped a lot during the restoration. And it took about three and a half years to complete the car and a little over 6,000 hours. What is your hope for the car now? What I plan, to, I hope it goes to a museum. I plan to sell it at an auction in uh, the Phoenix area in January. And uh, hopefully in, um, a museum will purchase the car so other people will be able to see it rather than going to a private collection. Well, would you agree with me that it's the greatest car ever made? Yes, I would. <laughs> I mean, seriously, not joking yes. around. Yes, yep. Yeah. Well, by the way, um, I just want to say, uh, Tom, for all of us car enthusiasts, you are not only more than a master of your craft, you are a absolute super, super hero to us all. Thank you. For doing this, and can't thank you enough. Then I asked him if he'd let me sit in it, and he said yes. Thank you, Tom, for making my dream come true. Oh, Tom, you've given us a gift. This perfectly restored, one-of-a-kind, absolute, out-of-this-world class national treasure of the absolute highest order forever of all time, into infinity, and beyond, and more, galore. Behold the glory. I know.